This is Michael Anthony Johnson with Entertainment TV. I'm here with Wes Morgan. How you doing, brother? I'm good, man. All good right. To be with you, sir. Hey, God's doing some great things in your life. It's some great uh, videos, uh, footage that we're going to present. Tell us about the project, the new project. That project, I just did it. It's just one song, but I just, you know, man, you see so much negativity on the news, and and what's bad is is it's relating to our love for one another, you That's know. Right. And um, you know, man, I, I my heart just went out to so many people. Uh, Trayvon Martin, Bell, um, it's the list is endless, man. You yeah. know, this stuff that we haven't even dealt with has been years and years and years ago, decades ago. But, but um, I did this song, "Change Is Gonna Come." Yeah. And um, and what I did is uh, we did got some footage and stuff of some of the racial violence and stuff like that. It, we put it out, man. It's on YouTube right now. Yeah. West Morgan YouTube. Um, Change is coming. Change is coming, West Morgan, and get on YouTube and you check it out. We're also going to show it over in France, show it on the Caribbean on some entertainment TV. So we're on the lookout for that. Yeah. And you said this, even when you look at it, it's, it's impacting you. Tell it's us impacted me, man, because I, you know, it's just, it's almost like it's, you have to pinch yourself, man. It's like, are we really doing this? You right. know what I'm saying? We've come so far in so many ways, but yet now it seems like we're backstepping, and I don't right. understand it. You know, and it, you know, we're killing our own people, man. We're right. supposed to be brothers and sisters. You know, it's crazy, man. You know how arrogant it is to think that you have a right to kill somebody because they don't look or think or act like you. Right. You know what I'm saying? You right. don't look like me. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm going to kill you. You know, it's just, it don't make sense. And, and the craziest thing is media is building up to be something else, building up a lot of anger and racism and all of that. Of course, of man. And we need an answer like this. Change needs to come. Yeah, we got to we gotta embrace change. That's right. And not only just embrace it, but we need to be aggressive about it. That's right. That's you right. know, it's not something that's just going to happen. We have to get out there and talk to people. Change. That's you know right. what I'm saying? We can't get stuck. And not, and not only that, the thing that really that's really, really, really heavy on me is that it seems like we're going backwards right. in, a, in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's like, I mean, you know, we had our first African-American president. Right. You know, I don't care if you like him or not. It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Yes, He's our president. And that is a major, that's a major, you know, uh, it's a major progression, you know. And, 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 and so, you know, I'm thinking, we did this, and we've come this far, now we're tripping on this. It's like, I don't know, man. But, I, but at the same time, I'm going to do what i got to do to make sure that, that I'm for change. Right. And, I'm, and I'm for love towards brothers and sisters, you know what I'm saying? Love's one of the po most powerful forces in the world, but we're not using it. That's right. You know, when we were saying that on, on the radio show last night, the same thing as love. we got to demonstrate it, and this is the perfect atmosphere. Mm -hmm. We talk about we're atmosphere changers as worshipers and as people of God. Mm -hmm. We need to change the atmosphere through our actions, through the things we live and the things we say. And I, I look at this, this video coming up that we're gonna present right after this <laughs> as a changer, as an atmosphere changer. Change is gonna come. It's coming, Amen. it's coming. You know, I, I, I actually say, and you'll see, they'll see it on the videos, I actually say, you know, I love all the people who know about change. I know it, man. I, you know, I just celebrated nine years clean from cocaine, man. I was a cocaine addict for 15 years and, you know, I should be dead, should be in prison, been in and out of jail cells, rehabilitation centers, halfway houses, all kind of judicial systems. But I changed, man, God. and God changed me, you know. And so, you know, I don't want people to ever look at, at change as being hard. Right. It's the inevitable. Right. We're going to make it happen. That's right. You know what? Somebody said if you can change somebody's thinking just a little bit, that's the doorway. So funny. It's so <laughs> funny you said that. I just I just finished a 365-day devotional, mm -hmm. and the title of it is Change Your Mind, Change Your World. That's it. That's yep. it. Because that's all. I mean, you know, sometimes, man, it's not a major adjustment. Right. It's a slight, slight little change. adjustment, man. That's it. That's it. And that's, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm praying. This is my prayer, Wes, is that everybody that's watching just this little clip of this video and then the video follows, that it, just a slight change happened. Exactly. That's all that's needed. It will right. change your entire world. I remember you used to, you're talking about changing. I, I was an alcoholic. I was a dope addict. And I went to church because my sister just begged me to. <laughs> and that's all God needed. And I changed in one moment. one moment. And this is what, 20 years later, and God's been doing some great things. And look, and look, man. I'm in front of this great man of God, this <laughs> worshiper, Wes Morgan. Hey, we appreciate your ministry. Appreciate you. We can support you. you. Anything that we can do to support? You need okay. to come to Recovery Fest, man. I didn't it's know right. you had a history. No, oh, you know, yeah. I do Recovery Fest. It's actually coming up at the end of this month. What, what we do is um, God dropped this in my heart, man, to have an event, a weekend, where, where it's just dedicated to ex-addicts 
people who are loved ones are nice. strung out. So we do seminars all day Saturday. We do comedy show on Friday night. We do concerts. It, it's just amazing, man. When we when, when now people are starting to hear about it, man, they're like tripping out on this. And I did too, man. I walked up out on the, the platform the first time we did it. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe it. People were coming from everywhere. Even some of your non-faith-based uh, communities and, and organizations, rehab centers that that don't typically embrace the faith movement, right. they're coming and just celebrating. So we give out certificates to people, man, and celebrate them because you know you 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 know how people kind of look down of down their nose at you. <laughs> just get yourself together. But unless you've been there, you don't understand. Right. See, September is National Recovery Month. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. September, a lot of people don't know that. September is National Recovery Month, so everybody across the country celebrates their recovery in September. And so what I do is I close out the month of September on a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, yeah. and we just kick it all weekend, man, just celebrate the fact that we didn't die in that stuff. Amen, amen. We also, man, I, each year I dedicate that recovery fest to someone who we lost. Mm -hmm. This year, a good, good friend of mine lost his son, um, and he had some major addiction problems, and so this year we're dedicating this one to him. And So it's just something, man, to, to let people know that, listen, I don't care what you do, I don't care what you've done, I don't care who you are, who they say you are. Mm -hmm. I still love you. Yeah. You're my brother, you're my sister, and we're going to work together until we get it right. Amen. And you know what? This is what it's all about, and I really appreciate you sharing. And we're going to be a part of that as well as far as Entertainment TV and myself, Michael Anthony Johnson. You see me there. <laughs> Uh, is this recovery month? I just need to get the information from you. Yeah, we're gonna make it. Make Absolutely, it. man. Thank you so much, West. Thank you, man. Y'all be good. God bless you, brother. God bless you. <laughs> right. What's up, everybody? It's Wes Morgan, and you're watching Centertainment TV. This song goes out to all the families who've been affected by violence in the streets, hatred, prejudice. My brother Michael Brown, my brother Trayvon Martin, Sean Bell, and all the families we don't even know about. Oscar Grant, Jordan Davis, Emmett Teal, our hearts are with you. And change is going to come. Change? Change is going to come. Let me tell you something. Anybody know about change is Wes Morgan. I just celebrated nine years clean from cocaine. Did it for 15 years. A lot of people said it wouldn't happen, but I know change is going to come. It's going to happen in our streets, in our neighborhoods, on our jobs, in our churches. Every aspect of your life is about to change right now. Here it comes right now. Change is going to come. This is Wes Morgan. I love you. And know that change is coming. I was born by the river mm -hmm. In a little tent I watched my son struggle for years And I watched him fight for his life I watched him go through his highs and his lows But I knew his change would come Long time coming But I know change gon' come It's been too hard living But I'm afraid to die Oh, even though I know I know what's above the sky Coming, but I know, I know my change's gonna come. Well, I go to the movies, sometimes I go downtown, it always seems like. Somebody's telling me don't hang around It's been a long, long time coming, yes it has But I know, I know 
my change is gone. No, come. Then I go to my brother. And I say, brother, help me, please. Then he always knocks, knocks me down. But he always knocks me down to my knees. There's been times when I thought that I just couldn't make it. Yeah, yeah. But now I feel like I got the strength carrying on. It's been a long, been a long time coming. But I know, I know my change is gonna come. It's gone. I want you to know, my brother, it's gonna come. It's on its way. Oh. Three.